Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to use order of operations, a very important standard we're going to need how to use the whole following school year. So, here we have gems. Do you guys know what gems mean? You guys probably are familiar with the word PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. PEMDAS is pretty good, but I don't like it very much because there's a couple little flaws because multiplication doesn't necessarily come before division and addition doesn't necessarily come before subtraction. So we're going to erase it for now. You can use it, it does work, but I want to get you guys familiar with GEMS, okay? GEMS will help us solve order of operation problems. So let's take a look at this G. What does this G stand for? Anyone? Anyone in the class? G stands for grouping. Good job, grouping. Okay, so I'm going to write this out. You can write this on your paper as well. What is grouping? Well, that's talking about parentheses and brackets, which mean the same thing, okay? Next thing we're going to look at is E, which stands for, anyone? Yeah, exponents. Good job. And you guys know what exponents are. If you don't, it's okay. Exponent would be 2 to like the second. That is the exponent, which would be 4. That's the exponent or power. M stands for, yeah, multiplication. Good job. You guys are awesome. Multiplication. And finally, the S stands for subtraction. Good job. Wow, this class is very smart. Awesome job. Okay, now, wait a minute. What about division? I don't see a D up here. Where does that go? Well, division is the brother or sister, the opposite of multiplication. So we're going to put it in the M column right here. So what I'm going to do is just put a little squiggle down here. We're going to put division down here, okay? Oop, running out of room. There it is, okay? Now, what about uh, addition? We can't forget about addition. Addition is the opposite of subtraction, the brother and sister. So let's put addition down here. Awesome job. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the problem over here, folks. We're going to need a little music to get us fired up for this problem. Um, go ahead and write it down on your paper. Okay, so we have uh, 4 times 2 plus 15 divided by 3. Okay? So, G, do we have any grouping parentheses or brackets in this problem? No, we don't. So we don't have to worry about this column. What about E exponents? Do you see any exponents in this problem? No. Oh, this problem's not going to be too bad. Now, do you see any multiplication or division? I do. Here, multiplication, and I see division. Well, what are we going to do first? According to PEMDAS, PEMDAS says use multiplication first. That's not correct, folks. That's not correct. So what we have to do, which I haven't showed you yet, in the M and S column, we need to work from left to right. Very important concept, folks. So we have multiplication and division, okay, which are in this column. We're going to work left to right, just like reading a book. So the, divi the, excuse me, the multiplication is going to come first here because it's to the left. What is 4 times 2? 4 times 2 is 8. So on these type of problems, folks, you have to show your work every step. Please don't whine about it. It's very important. In Spanish, it's saying, sing it to the bajo. It's muy importante. So 4 times 2 is 8. Just go ahead and write their 8 there. Don't do the rest of it in your head, folks. Come on now. Let's rewrite what we have. Bring down the plus, bring down the 15, bring down the division sign here. Okay, now we're at step two. What are we going to do? Let's look at our column here. Do we have any multiplication or division yet? Well, we still have this division. This is going to come next. Okay, because division comes before addition and subtraction. So what's 15 divided by 3? That's going to be 5. Okay, so let's write the 5 down here. Okay, let's bring down the 8 because we're showing our work. Bring, don't forget about this plus sign right here, folks. Drop down that plus sign. So 8 plus 5, the only operation left is 13. Notice how I'm working vertical. I'm going to circle my answer, and that's how it's done. On that particular problem, I'm going to show you one more. Bear with me. This one's going to have some parentheses. So on your paper, go ahead and write down a number 2. Write down 10 minus 3 plus 2 plus 
five, okay? Now this is an order of operations problem, but we're still using gems over here. Okay, so let's take a look at G here. Do you see any grouping, any parentheses, brackets going on around here? Ooh, I happen to see some right up here, two plus five. In parentheses, two plus five is seven. So just drop down that seven, okay? Don't do the rest in your head. Show your work, 10, bring down the 10. Bring down the minus three, bring down the plus sign. We're doing good. Now, we're done with the grouping. Is there any exponents? No, there's no exponents. Is there any multiplication and division going on? I don't see any. Things are looking good. Now we're in the subtraction and addition column. I see subtraction and addition. So am I going to use addition or subtraction first? Well, we need to do what? Most important thing I said today. Go to left to right, folks. Left to right. So subtraction is going to come first in this particular situation. 10 minus 3 is 7. Okay, bring down the plus. Bring down the 7 over here. 7 plus 7 is 14. I'm going to circle my answer. Boom, and that's how it's done. That was pretty good, actually.